Hi friends, do you want to control your Windows 10 PC using your Android phone? It's a too easy. Open Google and search for Chrome Remote Desktop. It's a Chrome you can easily find in the Chrome Web Store. Now you need to be download it. Then need to click on the Add to Chrome. Click on the Add. Now it's a going to be launched. Add in the your launch menu for the Google. Then after click on the launch app. Just click on the launch app. Here you have two options. Either take the remote assistance from the other person or as you see here first one is for the remote assistance from the another person. So you need to be share your PC if you want to give your PC shared with the other. And another is the your own computer, my computers. So you need to be click on the get started. And after this, you need to be click on the enable remote connections. And in between, it will be give you the path for the remote host installation file that you need to be install it. You need to be just install that host installation file so it will be work. It's a automatically downloaded. You just need to be run it. Start the installation of remote desktop host exe file. It will take little bit time and now it will be asked for your pin you need to be set your pin through which one you are able to access your this PC with your Android phone to connect your own PC you must be connected with the same Google account like your Google Chrome is also login with the same Gmail account, Google account and your Android must have also the same account. And as you see here, it's asking for the remote management. So go for the control panel, start control panel and you need to be checked. Your power management is not set on the sleep mode because it's required to without sleeping mode. In power management, you are able to change the setting. As you see here, currently I am running on the lever. But you can set by your own. Now we will go on the Android phone. I just mirrored my Android phone on my desktop PC. So you are able to easily see, see it here. As you seen here, I just open my phone. Now you need to be open the Play Store in your Android phone. Open the Play Store and download the Chrome Remote Desktop app. Same app from the Google. You need to be download it. Tap on the Accept Agreement. After installation, open this app on your Android phone. And actually my PC both are connected with the same email ID. As you seen here, now my computer name is Rumi IT test and 
on android it's also showing the test so type over the roomy test whatever computer name showing in your android phone and then you need to be enter the key that you generated in your pc in authentication to host option just enter you your pin that you registered in the windows 10 pc and then after click on the continue let's see now it's your windows 10 is running on the your windows with the android phone okay as you see in here now you need to be tap on the your phone to make it maximize and actually currently it's running on the horizontally so i'm just going to change in the vertically so you are easily able to see along with me as you see in here same as it is desktop now you and this mouse movement i'm not, not doing on the pc side i am doing on the mobile side and same as you see in here all the activities that i'm doing here it's going to be moved in the android phone same activity above my android phone is my connected phone is the mirror as you see in here it says shared with my email id as you see in here how easily i am able to open my windows pc 10 pc on my android phone each and everything you can easily monitor and i realize in compared to another software remote desktop software this one default one and just uh, from the google is a remote desktop is better even i compare let's check the team viewer but this one is a better for your remote desktop it's a fun fully functional whatever even a senior notepad each and everything you can easily able to control this one is the best application to use this one now if i'm going to as you see in here i'm opening in my pc is it very good now easily open now i'm going to be stop the sharing as you see in here now my android phone is disconnected because i stopped the sharing option so in this way it's a too easy to connect your phone to manage your remotely manage your windows 10 pc with the android and hope you like my videos please subscribe thanks thanks for watching